Ravenel Huji Smith is a name that represents just about every prominent family in Charleston's history. But it's not just her namesake that makes her noteworthy. She was an accomplished artist who spearheaded the Charleston Renaissance in the 1920s and 30s. She was taken very seriously. I mean, her Japanese woodblock prints were at the Museum of Fine Arts in Chicago. And she exhibited in other major cities, including New York and Washington, D.C., and throughout the South. Today, until June, visitors can come to the Edmonston Alston House along the Battery to see the low country through the eyes of Miss Alice. Landscapes almost unchanged nearly a hundred years later, memorialized in watercolor. The collection to me is very significant. Um, small private collections do not get to be seen very often. Some people feel these are some of the finest examples of her art. She adored Middleton Place, and her memories of it when she writes and reminisces, Middleton Place was so beautiful, it was like a green jewel thrown down from heaven. A deep affinity for the property, as you can see in her interpretations of the Butterfly Lakes and the Middleton Oak, both of which are there today, as well as her home at 69 Church Street, where many of these works once hung. And it's a beautiful house. It's a massive house. And it's always been sort of a pink color. So oh, it was I the see. first historic district in the United States. It was created here probably as a result of one of Alice's book on historic architecture. Is that right? Yeah. So she, she was more than an artist. She was a Charlestonian, a preservationist. A legacy of a woman ahead of her time celebrated in stone and imagery.